Moral Fiber, story number four in the collection of short stories by magician, messiah, magister Rudy, uh, King's name is. Uh, at this point, dominating my reading, uh, number one. I mean, as Proust, Somerset said, moment, a good number of others, fabulous writers, authors, thinkers comedians, but <clears throat> I'm, I'm concentrating on this. This is book 16 or so, <clears throat> a different genre. Uh, okay, I finished. I had a few notes on memoirs. Uh, take a girl like you. <laughs> Russian girl. Amazing books. Um, and wonderful short stories. We, the, the, we, we finished the three in a military series. Uh, my enemy's enemy, court of inquiry, and then um, uh, I spy strangers. <laughs> more quietly. And now we have um, a, an invitation to think about uh, social workers. A third one in this case, a cow, <laughs> to refer to her as uh, the victim has it. And a fallen girl, a prostitute. Uh, and there's a little bit of a meditation here on what, 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 what's right, what's wrong, what's moral, what has moral fiber and what's what not. Moral fiber being the, the title. <clears throat> and uh, we could say that Betty, the prostitute at one point, is in fact uh, in, at her best uh, when she's a prostitute. Sex workers, it would be called today, politically correct terms, uh, because she has sex with quite a few men, but she's free, she's she's happy, she's thriving, she's uh, provoking uh, physically, I guess, but also spiritually, maybe too grand, but well, too best uh, intellectually. That is, she. She comes to the narrator and talks to him and uh, why don't you go out? And she has a good time out in, 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 in bars and, and, and fun and, and she's talking, communicating. As I said, she's out there. She's, she's <clears throat> brimming with energy. Whereas when she's taken out and down, like that special work, <laughs> who's the villain? You know? Which is paradoxical, counterintuitive, and paradoxical, and absurd in, in some ways, but there's fun in it and there's a provocation. In it. And it's not always black and white, mostly it's grey, as we know. You don't have perfect people and perfectly vicious on the other side. So when she's out from the battle, she's uh, deeply unhappy. She's annoyed, she's aggressive, she's upset, she's bored, everything. She's destroyed, if you will. To the point that she, she helps with the robbery. And she ends up being sentenced for a short time. We can't do this anymore. We have to wrap up. And I have to take on this sex worker here. <laughs>